a mountain is at the center of a controversy. Some believe it has magical healing powers, that it was built by an ancient civilization. Is this pyramid man-made? Is it real? I knew that this so-called hill in Bosnia is actually a huge artificial structure, the first pyramid in Europe. They have done irreparable damage to the history and archaeology of the Visoko Hills. The official narrative denies that it's a pyramid, and if this is a pyramid, then it's bigger than the one in Egypt. He just makes a whole lot of claims, and he always gives zero evidence. When you have a discovery that changes the history books, there will be a lot of resistance. In the heart of Bosnia lies a mystery that has captivated the world. Welcome to Visoko, home to what some believe are the oldest and largest pyramids on earth. But are they truly ancient monuments or is it a grand illusion? Join me as I try to figure out if the Bosnian pyramids are real or a hoax. Let's begin. The Bosnian pyramids nestled in the town of Visoko are a collection of pyramid-shaped hills that have sparked both fascination and skepticism since their discovery in 2005. The most prominent of these structures is the Pyramid of the Sun, which stands at an impressive height of approximately 220 meters tall. That would surpass the height of the Great Pyramids in Giza. This pyramid, the largest of the group, is believed to have a precise north-south alignment, a feature that proponents argue demonstrates advanced astronomical knowledge. found that it was actually orientated so extremely accurately towards the cosmic north. This structure, the north face, mm -hmm is zero degrees, zero minutes, and 12 seconds deviation, which is almost perfectly oriented. Not far out at all. Adjacent to the Pyramid of the Sun are several other significant formations, including the Pyramid of the Moon, which reaches a height of around 190 meters. These pyramids are spread across the valley with distances between them ranging from a few hundred meters to several kilometers, creating a complex network that some believe forms a sophisticated ancient layout. The alignments and geometric precision of these structures, particularly their cardinal orientation, have been a cornerstone of an argument that they are not natural formations, but rather the remnants of an ancient civilization with advanced engineering capabilities. The man behind these extraordinary claims is Samir Osmanagic, an amateur archaeologist and author. Born in Bosnia, Osmanagic has spent several decades promoting the idea that these hills are not natural formations but man-made structures built by an advanced civilization. But what's driving him to make these crazy assertions? Since 2005, Osmanagic and his team have been excavating the pyramids, revealing a network of tunnels and stone blocks. Osmanagic and supporters claim these blocks are concrete slabs, meticulously crafted by an ancient civilization civilization to construct the pyramid structures. They point to the block's uniform size and smooth surfaces as evidence of artificial origin suggesting advanced building techniques far beyond what is currently accepted for prehistoric cultures. However, not everyone is buying this. Mainstream archaeologists and geologists argue that these blocks are a natural geological phenomenon. They assert that the so-called concrete slabs are actually slabs of sandstone and conglomerate rock, common in the region and formed naturally over millions of years through sedimentation and pressure. The seemingly regular shapes and surfaces can be attributed to natural fracturing and erosion processes rather than human craftsmanship. These experts would like to emphasize that no credible evidence supports the notion of ancient construction, and the characteristics of the blocks are consistent with known geological formations. But Osmanagic isn't buying these explanations either and he's still going further with his excavation. The amateur excavations led by Osmanagic have sparked a large outroar. Critics argue that Osmanagic is an amateur at what he's doing and is causing a lot more harm than he is good. Not only are his digs misguided, but also potentially destructive to genuine historical artifacts and sites. The lack of professional oversight means that any findings that they find are not properly documented, analyzed, or preserved. This approach could lead to the erasing of the true history of the region, which is rich of medieval and Roman remains. Professional archaeologists stress the importance of meticulous excavation techniques to preserve the context of the artifacts. By bulldozing through layers of soil and rock, Osmanagic's team risked disturbing or destroying layers of history that could offer invaluable insights into the ancient past. The potential loss of authentic historical data in favor of promoting a controversial theory undermines the integrity of archaeological research and could permanently obscure our understanding of the area's true heritage. Many in the scientific community accuse Osmanagic of pseudo-archaeology, arguing that the so-called pyramids are merely natural hills shaped by geological processes. But this is where we get into the good part. Why would Osmanagic be doing this if he didn't really believe that there were pyramids there? Well, one theory is that Osmanagic is trying to say that there's pyramids there to attract tourists and generate revenue for the economically struggling region. They argue 
argue that the excitement and mystery surrounding the pyramids are used to exploit the public's fascination with ancient mysteries. Adding to the intrigue, high profile figures like tennis star Novak Djokovic, a man who has achieved 24 Grand Slam singles title and has been the number one tennis player in the world for 428 weeks, has visited the pyramids publicly. And not only that, he's a huge fan of them. Djokovic has even participated in meditation sessions within the tunnels, further boosting the site's popularity. New infrastructure including tennis courts and hiking trails have been developed to cater to the growing number of visitors. There was an idea back in March of 2022, 113 days back, when uh, me and Novak Djokovic were walking through the forest. He asked me, what do you think if we built one tennis court here? Next day he said, maybe we could have two, hard court and clay. And uh, from that idea, an idea was born, we started working, we have executed the idea and we built this beautiful complex with the idea that the biggest names in tennis start practicing here, like Novak Djokovic, who is the global brand, not only in tennis, not only in sport, but in general. Not only that, the influx of tourists has undeniably boosted the local economy. But this raises the critical question. Is the story of the Bosnian pyramids legit, or is it just a hoax to bring in more tourists? The mystery of the Bosnian pyramids remains unsolved. While some see them as a groundbreaking discovery that could rewrite history, others view them as a grand illusion. As the debate continues, one thing is certain. The allure of these structures will continue to captivate imagination nations and draw visitors to Visoko for years to come. Personally, I would love it if archaeologists would go in and see that the pyramids were real because that would be awesome to find more, but obviously that's not really happening. They're very controversial, so I don't really want to pick a side. I hope they go about it the right way and don't erase history, so let me know what you think down below. See ya!